uh, typical area and volume questions related to your thrust term. So uh, everyone know that the thrust term it should be made up by a uh, large original cone and then subtract the smaller cone. It's given that there is a cone which is 12 cm and uh, the base radius is 9 cm. So we have our original cone. The height is 12 while the base radius is 9. And then we cut the upper part such that the height of the thrust term. That means we cut the upper part so that the rest height is ACM. Beware that we are talking about the height of thrust term is ACM. We are not talking about the cut part is ACM. So 12 cm ACM left. That means we cut 4 cm. The height of a smaller cone is 4 cm. And then you, in order to calculate the volume of the thrust term, that means the remaining part, we have to find out the base radius of our smaller cone. And it's quite obvious that 12, how to become 4, that means 12 divided by 3. That means every length divided by 3, we get 4. Similar reason, for the base radius divided by 3, then we get the base radius is 3 here. So we can calculate the area now. The area is equal to 1 over 3, base area, pi 9 square, time height 12. And then subtract 1 over 3, the base radius, pi 3 square, and then times height 4. So finally, we get 3, 1, 2 pi. Uh, some other method is uh, you realize that the ratio is 1 to 3. So some of the students will use the original cone volume and then uh, it's one times subtract 1 over 3 the volume ratio is power 3 so some of you may use the volume ratio to calculate like this directly it gives you 27 times 12 pi times 26 over 27 we also get the same answer